Hey everybody, this is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to restrict access to your WP Admin, so your WordPress dashboard, to only specific IP addresses. This works great if you work on a, a static IP, a, a network that doesn't change. If you're, work, if you're signing in from various different locations, you can actually add multiple IPs to the exemption list and then block all others. And, and some people just travel around so much, they work from coffee shops, they work on the road, they work across the country, that this kind of, um, this kind of security feature is not good for them because they're always on different IPs, so they constantly have to update the HT access file to get into their admin. So this security tweak isn't for everybody, but I'm going to show you how it works anyway, and then you can decide whether it's for you or not. So the first thing we have to do is log into our hosting account. And as you can see, we're here at HostGator, and I'm going to scroll down to the file manager, which is right here. I'm going to open the document root for the website that we're securing, and then click on Go. And as you can see, here's the HD access file that is part of the root directory. This is not the one we're going to work with. We're going to put an HD access file into the WP admin folder. So find the folder that's called WP admin, double click on it to open it. And you can also do this via FTP as well. Just log into your website root via your FTP client, find the WP admin folder, and then if there's no HT access file yet, which there probably won't be, you want to click on Add New to create a new one, and call it .ht access. Click on Create New File, and here she be, brand new file right there. Click on it to highlight it, and then click on Edit to add some code to it. I'm just going to copy and paste this code in. This code can be found down below this video, so you can just copy and paste it as well. And what this is saying is because this is in the wp-admin folder, it applies to anyone accessing that folder, which is where the WordPress dashboard is located. So this is saying, this is Apache code, and it's, for, it's kind of confusing. Order deny allow, allow a certain IP address. This is just a fake one. You have to put your own IP in there. And, the, the, and then it says deny from all, or deny from all of the others aside from that IP address is what that means. So if you don't know what your IP is, well first I'll show you what happens when you do this. I'm gonna log into my demo site, and I'm gonna to go to WP Admin. As you can see the dashboard loads just fine. And now when I save this, only access is allowed to this IP address, which is not my IP. So I should be able to refresh this page and I should be kicked out. So I got a 500 error. So I can't access WP admin. I can access the rest of the website just fine. But anytime I try to go to the WP admin folder or any subfolder thereof, I get a 500 error. And that's because this is the wrong IP address. So how do you find out what your IP address is? There's two ways. You can go to whatismyip.com and here it shows my IP right here. I can just copy and paste that. And the other way is by going to Google and typing in what is my IP and there it is again. I'm gonna just copy and paste this IP. I copied the other one. I'll copy this one as well just for good measure. We go back to the HT access file we replace the IP that was in here. Click on Save Changes. And now when I refresh this page, it should give me access to, to WP Admin again, to the dashboard. And there we have access to the dashboard again. But access is only allowed to this specific IP. If I connect from a different network this afternoon, I won't be able to log into that WordPress dashboard because my IP will have changed. And let's say I have two different IPs that I know that are static, that don't change, that I work from regularly. I can just copy and paste that section, the, or copy and paste that line, and then replace it with another IP address right here. And then both of those IP addresses will be allowed and all others are denied. So like I said, this really only works well if, you aren't, if you're on a static IP and if you don't travel around too much, if you just have a couple IPs to work with, or preferably just one, this works really well. If you travel around a lot, you're always connecting via different IPs, this can be a real pain in the butt because you'd have to log into, or you have to open this HT access file every time, 
add that IP as the exception, and then get in your WordPress dashboard. But now if security is of optimal concern for you, then that pain in the butt is just extra security. That's a good measure to take because nobody can access the dashboard. So even if a hacker was able to brute force your login, they couldn't actually get it in the dashboard because they're not on your IP. So you have to decide whether this security tweak is right for you or not. But I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you subscribe to our channel, check out our social media feeds, and check out wplearninglab.com where we post WordPress tutorials every single day. Talk to you soon.